Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Happy birthday, Virgo. Could have had a birthday yesterday. You could have one tomorrow. This is the end of our reign. We had a wonderful season, as always. Spirit come through. For those of you who have a birthday today, happy birthday, beautiful. Spirit come through. What messages do you have for Virgo? This is the end of our reign. This is the last weekend for Virgo. Spirit come through. I think Libra starts Monday. Spirit come through. What messages do you have for Virgo? Okay. Can we please have some messages, please? For Virgo. Come through, Spirit. Can I have some messages for Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Mm-hmm. First position you have, Virgo, is you got the Two of Wands. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. Justice. Moon card. Mm -hmm. King of Wands. Lovers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Empress energy. Seven of coins. Mm -hmm. Six of wands. <clears throat> the magician. Chariot. And the sun, okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Come through spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come through spirit. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven major arcanas. Okay, all right. Mm. Mm. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, all right, you got the four of coins, okay? Mm. Okay. Virgo, some of you might feel that somebody's playing with your emotions, somebody's playing with your energy, somebody's playing with you, period, okay? This is somebody who holds on to you, but don't offer you anything, okay? Mm -hmm. This is somebody that expects you to always be there for them when they need you, okay? Mm -hmm. This person may come and go in your life, in and out, very non-committal energy, okay? Yeah. This person is selfish or stingy, okay? This person holds on to you. They don't want to let you go. They don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to have you. That type of energy, okay? Mmm, page of swords. Could be an age difference between you two, okay? You may feel like you're dealing with a juvenile, okay? Very immature energy or something like that, okay? This person might even watch you or stalk you or something like that, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you might have to cuss this person out from time to time. High priestess energy. Very intuitive energy. You know exactly what you're dealing with. You know exactly who you're dealing with. You read this person's energy very well, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see right through this person's energy or something like that. You're very intuitive, very psychic energy. Okay, ah, this is the problem for you. Non-committal energy. Very non-committal energy. This person don't know what they want, Okay. This, this person could come off very romantic, though, very sweet. You might like their sex. You might like their attention. You might like their touch, but it's inconsistent, okay? Mm -hmm. You want more, and they don't, okay? That might be a thorn in your side. Yeah, talk them to you, Virgo. This person might be a real pain in your in your tush, okay? Pain in your butt or very annoying energy. You're ignoring them. You're not speaking to them. You're not talking to them. You're letting spirit guide you. You side-eye this person, like, what do you want now type energy, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're just annoyed with this person. You're just done or something like that. Let's see what else is going on here. All right. Okay, Virgo. This looks like this is truly going to be a love reading. Mm -hmm. Mm 
You never know where they go at until you see the spread. There we go. Let's see what's happening here. Come through spirit. First position, you have the two of wands. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two of wands. What you saying, spirit? What you saying? Mm. This person could have you waiting. Okay, Some of you may have been waiting a great deal for this person. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This person has you waiting. Okay. It's like this person is trying to... They're trying to see which one is the best option for them or the best choice for them. Okay. This person could be exploring two potential options here. Okay. Mm -hmm. You or someone else. All right. They may feel that you both have the key to their heart. They may feel that you both have the key to their uh, wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. They may, they may feel that you both would be a good option for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They may feel both of you have the, have the key to unlock their heart or something like that. Okay. They want to hold on to you both, but they have a choice to make because Virgo is not taking that. Okay, I don't know what the other person is taking, but I know you guys are not putting up with that. Okay, it's like all of nothing for you. Okay, this person thinks about you a great deal. It's like they know they know they have to offer you all, or it would be nothing. Okay, it, so they keep you waiting and waiting, but they think about you a great deal. Mm, this person could be married. Okay, with this justice here. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, there's some sort of unbalance here, though. Okay. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm it's like this person. At times, this person comes off as if they they want to make things fair with you, or they want to be they want to be treat you fairly. They want to do things right by you, or something like that. At times, they act like they want to do right by you. Okay, they want to be fair to you, or they want to treat you fairly. And then at times, they drop the ball, or something like that. Ay ay ay. Mm. Again, for some of you, this person could be married. This person could just be in a long-term relationship or something like that, okay? This person also could be headed for divorce or thinking about divorce or something like that. Mm. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed here, okay? Yeah, this person very well could be married, okay? They could be in a, uh, what you call it, an unha unhappy or a loveless marriage. They could be considering divorce, okay? Mm. Yeah, they may think that, okay? They may consider that or think that or something like that, but yet they don't act on it. They stay in it, no matter how unhealthy or unhappy or or toxic it is or something like that. They, like, stay in it or something like that. They may even told you, I'm in a relationship, but I'm not happy. It's not working, you know, this, that, and other thing, Okay. They may have, for some of you, not all of you, some of them, they keep it a secret. They don't tell you nothing, okay? Some of you, they might even say that they're not in no relationship. They tell you nothing. They keep it a secret. They might even tell you that they're single, and it's a goddamn lie. They keep it, they keep it a secret. Got the moon card. This person holds a lot of secrets. Very sneaky-ass energy. Yeah, not player energy, too. King of Wands. Mm. King of Wands energy. We got the player energy. Lordly, lordly. Mm-hmm. This is a highly sexual energy, okay? For some of you, this person is like big dick energy, very cocky energy. This person is very cocky. This person is very arrogant, okay? This person is here today, going tomorrow, uh -huh. but they fell in love with you. And that's something they wasn't betting on. This person wasn't betting on loving you or falling in love with you. This person wanted to do what they wanted to do. They find you very attractive. They wanted to give you that wine, okay? But they fell, and they fell hard. Mm. This person is always planning to take action with you, but they never do or something like that. Or it's a half-ass effort, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This may be Mr. Love for the moment, or whoever you're here for, Miss Love for the moment. They could be in that energy even though they're uh, female energy, okay? This is a very take-charge personality, kind of bossy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very controlling. This person also suffers from a great deal of internal conflicts very confused energy it's just all over the place they don't really know what they want okay but they fell in love with you you love them too okay mm -hmm. you guys could be dealing with a gemini mm -hmm. could be dealing with a strong libra mm -hmm. a leo aries sagittarius mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. a scorpio all right however you look at it they fell in love with you. You fell in love with them, okay? You do feel something for them. You are very, very smitten by this person. There's a connection with this person. You can't really, like, 
shake off or something like that. You can walk away from it. You can ignore it. You don't talk to them, but you're still in the back of your mind or they they always have a place in your heart or they, you, you'll always think about them from time to time or something like that. Because I see this person stays on your mind and, they, and you stay on theirs. You think about each other all the time. But it's just a lot of inconsistency here, okay? You might even have a child with this person. You could, Some of you could have found out that you're pregnant, okay? This person has a great deal of respect for you. They love your nurturing energy, your kindness. You're very generous, okay? Some of you need to learn how to stand up to this person. Some of you need to cuss this person out. You hold back a lot. You hold back your feelings, your emotions. Some of you get mad and you don't say anything. You bite your tongue, okay? This person keeps you waiting a great deal. You're doing a lot of waiting, okay? Mm-hmm. What are you waiting for, Virgo? Are you waiting for this person to choose you? Okay, that's what it looks like to me. You may be waiting for this person to choose you. Okay, make a choice between you and somebody else. You, this is this is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for your justice. Okay? Well, you're getting a lot of attention now, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Add a boy, add a girl energy. You're getting a lot of praise. You're getting a lot of... Uh, this is like your victory. Okay, you're winning. All right? You're turning a lot of heads. You're getting a lot of applause, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're also coming up in the magician energy, uh, Virgo. So it looks like you're you're choosing yourself. You're not waiting for this person to choose you. You're getting a lot of attention, and you're manifesting. You're manifesting your own, uh, um, your own choice or your own happiness. You're, you're, you're choosing you, okay? You're choosing you. You're moving on. And this would be this would be a great idea for you too, because you're going to be moving on to that sun energy, that joy, that wish fulfillment, that emotional fulfillment, that happiness, that abundance, that prosperity. Okay, it looks like you're going to be choosing you. Yeah. Okay, because you're getting a lot of attention now. This is the victory card. Okay, you're looking good. You're feeling good. All right. Uh huh. People are recognizing who you are. They seeing your worth. All right, you're getting a lot of attention. Some of you might be dating other people now. You're talking to other people. A lot of other people are letting you know your worth. They're letting you know how handsome you are or how beautiful you are. Okay, they see you. You got a lot of people who don't want to play with you, and you know it. You're manifesting it. You're moving on to your happiness. You say, if you won't choose me, I'm choosing me. Uh-huh, the energy is not that bad. You might have been dealing with somebody who just... They could, they just didn't know what to do with you, okay? They couldn't shit. They couldn't get off the pot. They didn't know what to do with you, okay? So you're doing it yourself. You're tired of the waiting. You're saying, uh, -uh I'm not a pick-me type of person, okay? Yeah. You know your worth, and you're tired of waiting. You're already getting enough attention. You're getting a lot of attention. You're getting a lot of accolades. A lot of, this is the victory. You're winning, okay? And you have been manifesting this energy of winning, Okay, you have been manifesting this energy of, of abundance, prosperity that's coming in for you. Okay, you're moving on. You're tired of the stagnant energy. Mm -hmm. You're choosing you. Okay, you have made your decision. If this person can't make a decision, you have made your decision. And you're choosing you. You're manifesting what you want. This is your energy, Virgo. The magician is Virgo. Okay, this, this is you. You're choosing you. Okay. You're not sitting around waiting for this person to decide and make a make a choice on you anymore. You said enough of that. You waited long enough. You done put the blood, sweat, and tears in this, and you saw what you was getting, and you wasn't getting much of nothing. Okay? Very very non-committal energy. A lot of inconsistency. Okay? A lot of indecisiveness. You're dealing with somebody that's very indecisive. Okay? Very unbalanced energy. Okay? Again, some of you are dealing with a Libra. Okay? Very unbalanced energy. They don't know what they want. It's like the scales stay unbalanced with them. This person might be very confused. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay? Very indecisive energy. Very confused. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Don't know what they want. Very confused. Keep a lot of secrets. Okay? Sneaky ass energy. All right? They see your worth, though. They know you're a good catch. They know that you are, uh, that they should have invested in you sooner, or they know they should have, they should have been invested in you, or something like that. Well, if they don't know it, they're about to know it because when they see that you're going to move on, when they see you moving on, to your happiness, to your abundance, to your prosperity, to your emotional fulfillment, okay? Oh, they're going to feel some kind of way. This person is going to hit this person hard, okay? Some of you are already pulling away. 
Mm -hmm. You're already pulling away due to the, all the attention that you're getting. You're very busy, okay? Like I said, you, this is your victory. You you got the victory here. Okay, you even got this person's attention. But, you know, like I said, it's very inconsistent. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person fell in love with you and they think about you all the time. And I don't think this is what they wanted to do. Okay? They didn't want to do this. They're keeping this to themselves, though. But you feel it. You know it. Your high priestess energy. Okay? Your empress energy. Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. But a Virgo, it looks like you have chose yourself. Okay, this person you wait you was once waiting for this person to pick you. Okay, this person took too long, so you picked yourself. Okay, you chose yourself, all right? Or you will be choosing yourself. Okay. Kudos to you, Virgo. Very good energy to you, Virgo. Very good energy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good energy to you, Virgo. Spirit come through. See what else we got. Let's see what comes through. Mm, we got animals. You guys might be animal lovers. You might be seeing a lot of birds. Okay, flying near you, flying near your car, flying, flying near your home. Okay, some of you are animal lovers. Okay, you got dogs, you got cats. The animals just gravitate to you or something like that. That's that light that's in you. That's that good spirit that's in you, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you are very close to your mother, okay? Might be spending some, a lot of time with your mother. If, if your mother's on the other side, she's definitely walking with you, okay? Some of you missing your mother. You're spending a lot of time with your mother. Some of you need to call your mother, all right? Some of you are becoming mothers, okay? Mm -hmm. It's time for you to speak your truth, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Stop biting your tongue, all right? You hold back a lot because you don't like conflict, okay? You don't feel like arguing. You don't like where it takes you or something like that, okay? Some of you go from zero to ten too quick. So you don't like to, you don't like conflict or you don't want to speak, no, speak, speak your truth because you feel it's going to cause some sort of discomfort in somebody's life or in your own life, okay? You need to speak your truth no matter what it's going to cause, all right? Holding it in is not healthy, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of you need to play some music. All right, music is healing for you. You need your music. Okay, Lord knows I do. Okay, you need music. Music is calming to you or something like that. Therapeutic to you. Okay. Uh huh. You guys are a leader too. Mm -hmm. Very take charge energy. Yeah. No one can control you. No one can boss you. It's your way or the highway. All right. Yeah. Very take charge energy. Very bossy. All right. You might be dealing with somebody else with that same leadership quality and you guys bump heads. Okay. Mm -hmm. They want you to be submissive and it's j that's just not you. Okay. Let's see what else we can do, Virgo. Let's see what else. Spirit, what do Virgo need to surrender to? Mm -hmm. Let's see what you need to surrender to, Virgo. All right. What does Virgo need to surrender to? Mm -hmm. What does Virgo need to surrender to? Spirit come through. Surrender fear. Okay, let go of the fearful stories that you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, surrender whatever you're fearful of. Surrender it. Okay? Try your best not to live in fear. You have nothing to fear. All right. You have to surrender that trust to trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed, swayed by others, by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. OK, looks like you're certainly going to be choosing you. OK, and put you're making yourself an option. You're putting yourself first. You're realizing that you're a priority. OK, very good. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Spirit come through. Okay, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Okay, taking a relaxing break and spending time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty 
and the ecstasy that's there. Okay, some of you need to take off your shoes and go walk into some some grass, do some grounding. Okay, go sit under a tree. Okay, go sit near a river or a lake. Okay, charge your battery. It's good for you. Okay, mm -hmm. and replenish you. Surrender to non-action. Yeah, some of you just need to stop doing, do nothing. Okay, take a day off. Okay, take a day off from action. Take a day off from overthinking. Just take a break. Now is the time to be still and not act. Okay, simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. All right, it's time to let everybody come to you. Stop trying to be there for everybody else, chasing people down, you know, calling them, sweating them. Let them come to you. Ain't nobody got time, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Surrender to success, okay? You are ready to... You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. And this is exactly what your energy is. You're moving on. Okay? Many of you are choosing you. You're no longer waiting for this person to make a decision. You said you don't have to shit and you don't have to uh, get up from that pot. You can sit right there. Okay? Stay stuck right there. Because I'm going to make the choice for you. Yeah, some of you have already moved on. Mm-hmm. For some of you, this energy is already a thing of the past, okay? Mm -hmm. No matter how you feel about it, all right? Mm, beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Let's see what else we got. For some of you, honey, this is already a done deal. Here it come through. Can I have some messages for Virgo? Justice. Here we go again. Okay. Truth, fairness, karma, balance, determination, law of attraction, accountability. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody took a... They, they took their time. Okay. Making a decision here. This is very unbalanced energy. This person didn't know what they want or don't know what they want with you or something like that. Okay. Yeah, but the truth is about to be exposed here, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at times this person wants to be fair and treat you fairly. So at times this person wants to do right by you, and then they drop the ball, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the universe is taking over here, okay? We've got some sort of law of attraction that's taking over here, okay? This person had you waiting. This person uh, didn't treat you right, okay? Justice comes out when there's been some sort of injustice, okay? It's like the universe is definitely going to call this to correction for you. Okay, yeah. Victory, achievements. There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Success, goal, victory, milestone, realization. You're realizing what this is. You're realizing that you don't have to wait for this person to pick you. Hell, you don't have to wait for this person to call on you. You call on yourself. You pick yourself. Okay, if this person don't see your value, they don't see what you bring to the table, they don't see who you are, you will find somebody else who do. Okay, and it looks like you have. All right. Mm -hmm. We have warrior goddess, leadership, courage, brave, determination, victory. Got a lot of victory. You're winning, Virgo. You definitely got victory, victory. Okay, hell, victory again. You're going to win. You're going to get the outcome that you want, okay? Rather, it's with this person or somebody else. So this person is too inconsistent for you, though. This person wants you to wait and wait and wait for them to make their mind up. Wait and wait and wait for them to decide, for them to decide who they want to be with, okay? Or what they want, okay? Very non-committal energy you're dealing with here. Yeah, this person is very conf confused, okay? They have a decision to make. And you said, no, you don't. I made my own decision. You ain't got to come this way. Keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said you don't have to decide nothing, all right? Mm -hmm. Somebody's at a crossroad. Very confused energy. This could be an energy vampire. This person might come around just to leech off your energy, just to siphon your energy, just to just to get some sort of boost from you. You make them feel better. This is some sort of emotional manipulation. They come around because you make them feel better, okay? They come and deplete you. They, they leave you fatigued. They leave you drained, okay? This person comes suck you dry, all right? They come take your energy, that good feel that you give to them, okay? Yeah, it could be a soulmate. You may feel this person is a soulmate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have loyalty, passion, love, laughter, uh, compatibility, communication, empathy, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. 
You might feel sorry for this person. You might connect with this person at some level, okay? But this is a very non-committal energy, or at the very least, they just don't know what to do with you. They don't know what they want with you or something like that. And you said, it's okay, I understand, okay? I'm going to love you through your pain. I'm going to love you through your confusion, and I'm going to move on, okay? Yep, we got romance, okay? This person does love you very much. This person, You have this person's heart, okay? This person wants to come and romance you, all right? And they may. They may come romance you for a good summer or a good winter. Or, and then they're off again. Or a good weekend. Okay. A good month. And then they're off again. Very inconsistent energy. All right. Very unbalanced energy. This person just don't know what they want. Okay. Mm-hmm. We got a hater too. Mm. We got some envy. We got some jealousy, resentment, negativity. Mm. Some bitterness. Somebody might be very spiteful. Okay, mm -hmm. this person might have something to say to you, okay? And you might tell them to trade lightly, watch what you say, okay? Yeah, you might tell them to be careful and be kind with their words. They might got something to say to you, though, know? something they didn't need to tell you because it looks like they've been doing a great deal of reflection, okay? Very nostalgic, reviewing, okay? Recollecting, revisiting their emotions. I see they got pictures of you, mm-hmm. This person is very, they love you. This person loves you very much. They're just very inconsistent. They don't know what they want. It seems like they love you and somebody else too, okay? Mm-hmm. we got chakra alignment. You're in balance, Virgo. You don't need this person to make a choice. It looks like you already have made your choice. You're a little disappointed that the choice, that it had to go this way, but you know it's for the best, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have balance, energy, harmony, mindfulness, healing, Okay, holistic health. Yeah, you're doing really good. You're, you're focusing on you. You have made yourself a priority. You're well aware of who this person is. You're well aware of what their, what their challenges is. Okay, and it's like you got some sort of understanding for them. It's like you, you, you got some sort of... Yeah, I, I, I want to I call it like you got a better understanding of, them, of, the, of it or something like that. It could, because you, I don't feel that you're taking it personal. Okay, you're not taking it hard or something like that. You know, you're like, I get it. I get an energy or something like that, okay? That's very big of you too, Virgo. Very big of you. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got, Virgo. Very big of you, Lord, Lord, Lord. Uh, definitely an age difference between you and this person. Or if it's not an age difference, you're way more mature than this person or something like that. That might be the intuitive energy that you have because you did have the high priestess. It's like you you understand them better than they understand their own actions, okay? You understand them and their actions better than they understand themselves, okay? This is why you can bow out gracefully. You can say, okay, it's hard for you to make a choice. I'll make it for you. And I choose me. And I'm out the door, okay? You just bowed out gracefully, all right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, rejected God's gift. This person is going is not taking it well. Okay, they're not having Okay, they rejected God's gift. So they're not thinking straight, okay? They're not having luck. They're not having blessings. Something is not right in their world, okay? Because they yeah, they're thinking about this shit too. They thinking about it. <laughs> Lord, they come through spirit. They thinking about it too, because they know they rejected God's gift, honey. They think about you quite often. They, they might just be a little coward. I'm I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. They might be a little scared of this connection. Okay, not a coward. Okay, we're not gonna call them that. We're gonna say they're just a little apprehensive. They're a little scared of this connection. They don't know if they can handle it or be involved in it because they might drop the ball. They might not feel that they can level up or measure up to you or something like that. Okay. All right, that sounds a little bit better than calling them a coward, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah. We got devil energy, okay? Mm. Some of you don't even deserve this person, okay? You're dealing with a, a, a wolf's and sheep's clothing, okay? This person could be very di diabolical. This person could be very low vibration at times, a hater. Devil energy. This person could be very wicked at times. Mm -hmm. They play a lot of head games with you, all right? They come off sweet sometimes, but they're a little devil or something like that. Ay, ay, ay. Pathological liar. This person lies their ass off, too. They be faking the funk. Mm -hmm. Don't trust them. All right. This person is a big liar. They're a big fake. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they come off like they're they're very mature. They got it all together, or they have balance. But it's a lot of shit that's going on with this person. Okay, but you guys know it. This is why you have such an understanding of them. You read this person very well. Mm -hmm. And some of you still want to be bothered with them. Knowing as much as you know, you still wouldn't mind being bothered with them. Okay. All right. Pay attention to the red flags, guys. Okay. Yeah, some of you have your own. You don't need nothing from this person. Okay. This person might have thought that you was out to get them, but you do fine by yourself. Okay. Some of you are just fine where you're at, no matter what you have. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. We got college graduate. Some of you just finished school. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Or you just finished, uh, or you just finished with this person. This was a learning lesson for your ass. You feel you got your degree and you done moved the hell on. You just done with this person, okay? If you didn't physically graduate school, if you're not a physically a graduate of college, you're a graduate of this relationship, okay? You might have got the lessons that you were supposed to learn here and you're gone, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to spend more time at your altar. G uh, give more at your offer. Give more of your time, okay? Burn your incense. Light your candle. Sit and talk, okay? Say what you feel. Let it out. All right. Some of you need to really start saying what you feel. All right. We got royal babies. All right. Some of you might find that you're pregnant or you just had a baby. Okay. Just had a little prince or princess. Okay. Mm -hmm. This baby is going to bring you a great deal of blessings. Okay. Treat this baby like royalty. Okay. Royalty bloodline, too. Yeah. This baby's going to have a God-given talent, okay? Mm -hmm. They could sing. They could draw, okay? This person is going to have... It's going to be in their hands, okay? Whatever their gift is, it's going to be in their hands, okay? Something they can do physically. They're going to be really good at it, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Support them. Cheer them on. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Spirit coming through. What time is it? Ooh, they always so long. Spirit come through. Can I have some more messages for Virgo? We have scissors, okay? It's time to cut ties. You have done all that you can. Yeah, you ready to cut ties from this person? Uh huh. You say you don't got to pick me. I pick me. You can sit right over there in that shit that you in. Okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We have forest, okay? Don't be afraid to step off the path a little. Try something different. This is what you're doing. This is something different for you. This is something new for you, okay? Yeah, you've been doing some soul searching yourself. You've been evaluating yourself, okay? You know what's best for you. You're making yourself a priority. You have the victory card, and you're winning. You're in a really good energy, very mature, okay? You don't need nobody to treat you fairly. You treat yourself fairly. You don't need nobody to do right by you. You do right by yourself. And you damn sure don't need nobody to pick you. You're not a pick-me person. You have chosen you. you chosen you, okay? All right? Many of you have been single for a very long time for that very reason. You don't settle for anything. And you damn sure don't let nobody uh, wait for somebody to choose you or settle for you or something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh, ooh. That was too many spirits. Okay, a lot of messages want to still come out for you. Let's take these three here, okay? All right, we have Feather, okay? A person who makes you laugh, okay? There could be more to this relationship, okay? You might be seeing somebody right now, and it's really light energy, okay? It's not heavy. It don't depress you. It don't make you sad. When you see them, you start smiling. They just make you laugh. We got Dice, okay? The connection you have is risky. It could be true. But it could be false, okay? Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, this is why you're walking away from it. Okay. You said, I don't want to take a risk with you anymore. Or I'm not waiting for you to choose me or something like that. Okay. Red flag, okay? You have seen the signs. You aren't surprised. You know what to do. Yeah, you've been saw this. You've been saw this, the, the surprise. I mean, the signs. This is not a surprise to you. Okay, this is why you feel this could be true and it could be false because it, at times this is what it feels like. This person can make you feel like they're true to you or they really want you or this is really going somewhere. And then at times you feel like, oh no, this is a huge waste of my time. This is not for me. Okay. We have the sunset. A connection is coming to an end. It is time to move forward with hope. Okay. Yeah. Many of you are going to let this person go. Okay. 
And you're letting it go with a happy heart. You're not even mad. You're not even disappointed. Kudos to you, Virgo. Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this read. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. I should.